We are at the Leibniz Institute for Agricultural Engineering and Bioeconomy here in Potsdam. Today we are looking at optical technologies and how they are already used in agriculture, also known as agriphotonics. What are optical technologies? They are known from healthcare or also bar scanners at a supermarket. And now we want to show you some applications and we are going in the field to the field lab of digital agriculture. In horticulture, and specifically in apple fruit trees, we want to improve the ratio between the leaf area and the crop load. To do such a thing, we are using optical sensors, and specifically a LiDAR, light detection and raging, which is able to uh, monitor and record the development of, uh, of trees uh, in three dimensions, and use this kind of information, the information of growth, of leaf area, the fruit development, and implement it in physiological models and also relate it with the yield and the fruit quality at the very end of the season. Optical technologies in combination with drones can help us to better understand crop conditions. Here we can see a multispectral image taken from a winter wheat field. The red color shows the NIR spectral channel of the camera. As the wheat reflects strongly in the NIR, it appears in a strong red tone. The intensity of the color increases with the vitality of the wheat. This orthophoto was taken by a drone at 20 meters height and consists of 2700 images assembled by photogrammetry. From the multispectral data, vegetation indices can be calculated to derive statements about the nitrogen content or the biomass of the crop. In the future, it will be important to apply plant pesticides in a targeted manner where plant diseases occur rather than uniformly. With the help of optical technologies, yellow rust patches in wheat crops are detected within the Fungi Detect project. Images from drones help to define the disease nests in spatial and georeference terms. However, as disease infestation normally starts from the bottom of the plants, it is important to obtain data from ground-based sensors. We tested a vertical sensor mounted on a trailer that collects information from the crop canopy while driving through the wheat stalks. Red infrared LEDs are used to illuminate the plants so that it is possible to precisely see at what heights the fungus has spread. This is important for identifying the target area of the spray liquid. Many applications of photonics are well established in the fresh fruit supply chain. In post-harvest, we are sorting fruit and vegetables with different camera systems according to their quality. But meanwhile, we can even detect early diseases, which is great because we can sort out those products. What we do here is basic research. So we are measuring the absorption coefficient, the scattering coefficient to describe the properties of the fruit properly. For obtaining the optical properties of this grapefruit, we place it below the sensor. As the laser is injecting some light, we get the attenuation profile and from that we can calculate the absorption and the scattering coefficient. Quality and safety of food and feed are important uh, aspects of our research work. And here the photonic techniques uh, are very helpful because they allow to monitor quality parameters along the entire production chain. And here we use uh, spectroscopy, uh, Raman for sense based and others. And on the other hand, we apply photonics, uh, for example, plasma to gently inactivate microorganisms related to food and vegetables or herbs and spices. And here the main advantage is the operation at low temperature. On the other hand, plasma can also allow uh, the modification of product properties. And this is also part of a fundamental project running at the ATB at the moment. Thank you for joining our virtual tour. Now you have seen where optical technologies are already used in agriculture. 
If you want to join our aquaphotonics community with around 30 partners in Germany and Israel, please contact us. Mm -hmm.